guys so welcome to a new video my name is Jose at Jose's bookshelf today I'm gonna do a, a book haul with you so most uh, books you'll see a picture over here I have um, decided to print out what all the books are about so I will read off of these so just to let you know I do not I cannot remember <laughs> from like each book what it's about so better that way and yeah, so let's start with a few books that I have in my hands right now. I literally just have to. Uh, so the first one that I did get, I only have a desk jacket right now because I'm currently reading it. So it's The Haunted by Daniel Vega. Like, it's a really pretty cover. And this one here says, it's um, clean slate. That's what Hendrik Becker O'Malley's parents said when they moved their family to the tiny town of Dreadfield, New York. Hendrik wanted to lay low and forget her dark traumatic past, forget him, but things don't go as fine. So it's a girl that moves into a new house and something's going on with that house. So um, Daniel Vega is really good with her horror and creepiness in her books. She's one of my favorites. And yeah, so that's one that I recently bought. I I picked up this one actually last I think like Thursday. Um, it's the Tea Dragon Society. I got it at the library, and I really really love it. Like it's really nice. So this one here, it says, um, okay. After discovering a lost tea dragon in the marketplace, Greta learns about the dying art form of tea dragon caretaking from the kind tea shop owners Hensakiel and Eric, and she befriends them and their shy ward, Minute Greta, see how the craft enriched their life and eventually her own. I really love this. It's super duper cute. I'll show you some images of it. Like, it's really, really cute. I really really do love it. It is just the images are like matte and like just very very pretty. I really love it. So I am also on Ned Galley. I'll put the picture right here. I did get the number two. It is a Tea Dragon Festival number two. Um, so I can't really tell you what it's about. It just know the the story continues, and apparently there is a festival. <laughs> so really cute. I really love it. So now. Number two, I'll put a picture right here, and it's Shepherd's Warning by Caitlin Lloyd. Just know most of these are all Ned Galley books. So this one here says, For years, the abandoned Mackenzie Mansion remained hidden in rural Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Rumors and stories of apparition or odd noises, accident, and strange death in or near the property were enough of convinced the townsfolk it was haunted and they stayed. Lucas Mackenzie. And his brother Nate knows nothing of this when they inherit the property. So they decide to uh, renovate the house. And I do have like a TV show about it. And it's really like what's going to happen while they do the TV show. So it seems really good. I love horror stories. So that's perfect. Then, uh, then I have The Dead Girls Club. A novel by Damien Angelica Walters. So I'll put a picture right here. This one just seemed really interesting, really different. Uh, it says, Red Lazy, Red Lady, show us your face. In 1991, Heather Cole and her friends were a member of the Dead Girl Club, obsessed with the mac macabre. The girls exchanged stories about serial killer and imaginary monsters like the Red Lady, the spirit of vengeful witch killer centuries before. Heather knew the stories were just that. Until her best friend Becca began insisting the Red Lady was real and she could prove it. That belief got Becca killed. Dum dum dum. So this one here seems really good. Um, like you know by Haunted and all that, I really love any like spooky stuff. So it seems really good. Then I got, <laughs> these are all not Negali. I have like seven in a row that I need to read. Um, so yeah, so Call It What You Want by Bridget Kemmerer. Uh, this one here uh, says New York Times bestseller author Cambridge Kemmer spends an emotional compelling story about two teens struggling in the space between right and wrong. When his dad is caught in busying funds from Paul the town, Ralph goes from probable lacrosse like, player to social pariah. Even worse, his father fails suicide attempt, leaves Robin his mother responsible for his care. 
and everyone thinks of a Megan as a particular overachiever, but she has a secret of her own after the pressure got her last year. And when her sister comes home from college pregnant, keeping it from her parents might be more than she can handle. When Rob and Megan are paired together for a calculus project, they're both reluctant to, to let anyone through the walls they're failed, but then Megan learned of Rob's plan to fix the damage caused by his father, it could ruin more than their fragile new friendship. Seems really good. It's another one. <laughs> then I have The Ghost Hunter's Daughter. This one I'm actually currently reading, still of not Galley. Um, it's by Caroline Flaherty. And this one here is a 16 year old girl, Anna, sees things from another world, just bird her wool, a, a skill that isn't exactly useful in high school. It's bad enough for her mother, possessed by a demon, took her own life when Anna was a child. A loss she remained tortured by, now her father makes his living clearing haunted object as Anna's job as his assistant makes her a social misfit. Most kid in suburban New York town refers to her as the Goblin Girl. So this is really like, it's, it can be very troubling, you know, with the whole, her mother got like killed, but I started it. I am like one chapter in, and I'm actually really liking how you start and there's a ghost after her already, like the first few words. So it just seems really, really interesting. Um, so I have another one. This is by Sophie Reynold. It's not you, it's him. So in New Year's Eve, the most overrated night of the year, right? I have to get through a night of enforced fun drinking and a Prosecco and talk about new beginnings, but I don't want new beginnings. I want my old beginning back. It's been 10 days, 2 hours and 43 minutes since Tansy got dumped. Two heartbreaking weeks since Renzo, who made her weak as Denise and Dizzy with excitement, found out Tansy's secret and edited it on the spot. Since then, she's spent every evening scrolling through their old photos, drunk text him 26 times. He stopped reading after 5. And lost count of how many packets of Kleenex she cried her way through. That's where Operation Get Get Arenzo Back comes in. She ropes in a new wing woman, maxes her her credit card, and seemingly on purpose bumps into him as every opportunity. Oh, and she finds a fake boyfriend as you do. So this is, I think, she's gonna get a fake boyfriend, and um, you know, have make me need. This is a very romantic, romantic like. Um, Oh my god, I can't think of the word. Fifty Shades kind of book. <laughs> this one here is by Kate Roberts. Um, it says, And this red hot scorch from New York. So Trish Livingston desperately needs cash. So when her brother offers her a job while she's on opportunity to leave, she snaps it up. She's even willing to put up with his best friend and business partner, the notorious grumpy Cameron O'Cleary, especially when she finds out he's very easy on the eyes. And then Cameron hates people, especially peppy, happy people like Trish. He avoids her at all costs until a ranchy late night encounter in the elevator shows him that there is a fine line between hate and lust. So this seems like a hate to love book. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I love those books. Um, so then I did pick up As She Ascend number two. Um, I just finished Before She Ignites and fell in love. So this is the second book. and. I can't really tell you what it's about, just that she is sentenced to jail because um, she knew too much and she really wanted to protect some dragons and is really her struggle and uh, I can't tell you really what the second book is about because, alright, and then another book that I received, is well I just bought is your name this is my Makoto Shinkai uh, this one here is the third one so it's the final one um, the first book it's all mangas and it's really about a girl and a boy that when she goes to sleep they come they like almost switch lives she always wanted to be a boy he always wanted to be a girl or something like that or just a different life and this is the ending and I can't wait to see like what's gonna happen um, I've been reading these, it's been like a few months. It's really short ones, like 15 minutes or 30 minutes and I'm done the book. But it's just really, really interesting. And uh, what happened is I actually asked my fiance to buy me uh, as she has sent, the one from Jody Meadows. 
and I went on Kobo, bought it, and then when I went to pay, it said that I had $80 credit, and I completely forgot that a few months ago I did a survey, and it was really complicated, and more question, and like, why I love reading on Kobo was the different with physical books and all that and they gave me $80 for it so I actually have money in my account so uh yeah so I bought your name that one and I don't remember there's so many books that I bought earlier uh so those are the ones that I received and um yeah so that's pretty much it. So uh, this is my book haul part two. Hopefully I'll get a break until next year because you just saw my book outlet order and now this. So I've been like going crazy. So let's just say after summer, maybe I get another one. But this summer, this is really it. I really need to get to reading. So anyways, thank you so much for watching my videos. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and like my my videos and comment down below what you like about my channel or about me or anything about these books anyways thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye